Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be trying something new. I thought it would be fun to shop my PR stash. So a lot of you guys may know, and if you don't know, I receive a lot of PR in the mail. So a lot of different brands will send me their new launches. So I get a lot of mail all the time, which I feel so blessed that that's the situation because I remember like watching these YouTube videos and seeing PR unboxings and just wondering what that would be like. So it really is surreal that I get to experience that. Believe it or not, there are pros and cons to receiving PR. So what made me wanna film this video was I really was thinking about, okay, since all of this stuff gets sent to me, what if I approached this in a way where I went through everything that I had currently or most of what I had currently and I just only selected the products that I personally wouldn't mind buying myself, if that makes sense. So that's what we're gonna do today. I thought it would be fun to take you guys up to my current PR stash room. I literally have a room in my house that's dedicated to PR unboxings and laundry. Gotta love it. Um, everybody needs a good bonus room like that, I guess. So we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, the things that I have and I'm gonna kind of take you through my thought process and select things out. And then we're gonna come back down to the studio and we're gonna film with all the products that I choose. So let's go ahead and head upstairs to my laundry room slash PR room. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this bucket with me to fill up, so let's go. All right, so I've got my bucket. I just went upstairs to look through some PR. The first thing that caught my eye is definitely this right here. Bobbi Brown has a new eye cream, one of their vitamin enriched eye creams. I love the vitamin enriched face base, so I definitely wanna try this out today. Okay, and then I just got this in the mail. This is the new ambient blush from Hourglass, and there's a powder brush that comes with it, so I'm gonna try that for blush today. We've got a couple of things from, okay, so we have some things from e.l.f. right here. I actually have never tried their Hydrating Camo Concealer, so I felt like this would be a great video to try this out. I've wanted to for so long, and I get really excited about this formula. I've heard good things. So I'm just going to put all three shades in there for now. There's also this, like, concealer brush and sponge duo. Why not? I feel like we can try that as well. I've already tried this Poreless Putty, and it's great. They sent this really cute sweatshirt, too, so I'm going to set that aside. We have fall things coming already. So this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Collection. We have a limited edition matte liquid lipstick, which looks really, really cute. And then the Pumpkin Spice Palette. There we go. There's the inside. This is actually very, very pretty. I feel like I'm actually really into this color scheme. And I normally gift or give away the limited edition palettes because, you know, if I can't film with them and if it's not something you can get for a long time, I just prefer not to film with them, but this is something that I might actually keep. I have another eyeshadow palette that I kind of wanted to use, but gosh, maybe I'll just put this in just in case. I want to dip into this as well. Um, I'm going to save this for another time, but I am excited about it. So there's that. Okay. So NARS recently launched a few things. We have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Extreme Effects palette. But then also I'm pretty sure there's some new mascaras. Okay. Yeah. So there's the original NARS Climax mascara. They just launched the Climax Extreme. I think I will try this another time because I have another mascara that I really want to try, but let me know if you guys want me to try it, that mascara anytime soon. This is something I definitely feel like I would have picked up myself. It's the new M Cosmetics mascara. It's the Pick Me Up mascara. And don't you just love the packaging? The lavender bottle is amazing, so I'm definitely gonna try that today. All right, we've got some new primers, which is so exciting from Thrive Cosmetics. I have the Brilliant Face Primer, which is an illuminating one, and a blurring primer. I probably, you know, if I was actually shopping for a primer i would probably start off with the brightening primer or the illuminating primer first and then you know i would eventually probably pick up the blurring one so i think i'm gonna try the illuminating one today okay this one's exciting i don't know if i want to try it because i think the shade is wrong but this is the Too faced born this way matte foundation and it's supposed to be really great but i think this shade is just a little too dark for me right now so i'm gonna hold off on this one i am excited about it okay i actually have another box from elf Ooh, these ride or die lip balms look really fun there's a blush in here that broke so that's why it's a little dusty but 
that's all right. Um, let's see. The things I'm the most interested in are definitely the liquid glitter eyeshadows in this whole collection situation. I guess, actually, I'm also kind of interested in these bite-sized palettes, but I already have a blush I'm going to try, so maybe I can just try the highlighter in this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'll put that in there. I'm really interested in this, but I'm going to try another one for this video because there's already another, like, liquid glitter situation. Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe we could try one of these. These are the e.l.f. Facial Oil Mist. This is the soothing one. Maybe I'll try this. Maybe I'll try it underneath the primer. Sounds good to me. And I am going to put in one of these Ride or Die lip balms. I'm not sure if I'll end up using it or not, but I just want to put it in there because we're shopping my stash and I genuinely would have bought that. And then I think that's good for now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh, let's try this. Let's try this at the end of the routine. So this is the Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. Great, okay, we have got a setting mist. I've got some new eyeshadow palettes from Fenty and also some new liquid lipsticks too, which the colors look so pretty, especially for fall, but I really think I'm going to choose another lipstick that I will show you right now. Okay, so Oma Beauty actually was so kind. They sent me a little care package full of some more products to try out. I really do wanna try some of these things. So this is a highlighter. This is an eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to try those on another day. The things I'm the most excited about are definitely these right here. This is the Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick. So I'm actually gonna put both shades into my bucket to try. Wow, things are really building up here. And then these are the lipsticks I'm so excited about. So we have three different shades. I actually was able to request these shades, which was so nice. They let me suggest products that I might want to try and I chose these three lipsticks. Whitney is such an amazing pink. And then we have two more nudie colors. I'm just gonna throw these in here so I can show you guys the shades in the studio. Oh, we also have this Makeup Forever um, Velvet Skin Concealer, but we already have a concealer that we're going to try, so I'm going to save that for later. I wanted to show these as well. We got some new eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place. I definitely, definitely want to try these, especially the taupe palette. That just seems like something I would use often. Or the mauve one. Ooh, so, so pretty. But I have another eyeshadow palette that I want to use, which is this one right here from One Size Beauty. So spoiler alert, I actually dipped into this when I filmed my classic bag collection launch video and I had so many of you guys asking me what I was wearing. So even though I've already dipped into it, I figured I would create another look with this because I'm really excited about it so i'm gonna put this in here and another thing that i used that i was so excited about there's beautiful patrick that's where the eyeshadow palette was but oh oh where did it go <laughs> i used this right here called everything and more it's one of their glittery eye toppers so i want to try more because again i got so many compliments and i loved it so i want to try some of the other colors i'll try to find that one maybe it's in my studio still i'm gonna put these in here as well and then even though i don't wear too much eyeliner i did want to try the brown shade in this because when i do wear eyeliner it's typically brown so i'm gonna throw that in there as well dang it i gotta find that <laughs> I also got this ColourPop collection, which I'm not sure if I will try anything today. Well, maybe. Maybe I'll throw in these ultra glossy lips and we can try those out. What do you think? Let's do it. Since I don't have a gloss yet, I have been wanting to try some of these lip products so badly. These are from Juvia's Place as well. And I kind of opened and swatched a couple like off camera when I first received them. So we have like a bunch of nude lipsticks, but then there's lip liners and then there's some glosses. So it, let's see, if we try the ColourPop glosses, I'm thinking we should try some of these lip liners. I'm just gonna snag the two lighter shades and we'll see how those work. But like this whole range is so pretty and the packaging on all of these is so beautiful as well. So I'm gonna have to try some of those in a future video, but we have the Wilma Beauty ones that I really, really wanna try. So I'm gonna make those a little more of a priority today. Okay, wow, I think we have quite a few things to try. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but I think we'll be able to create almost a full face with all this stuff, so I'm excited. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I forgot I got this box of a few different brands. So sometimes there's like PR companies that will send a bunch of different brands in a box. So I actually have this in free Dewy Glow Mist. Ooh, I know we already have a Elf Mist, but maybe I'll throw it in there just in case we change our minds. Also, I have something from Ciate. This is the Coconut Setting Powder and I'm intrigued. So I'll throw it in there. Oh, another setting mist, but that one's from Ciate. Oh, Innisfree has some 
setting powders as well. Oh, and a luminizer. I'm gonna throw this setting powder in there. We'll open it up and choose between the two, but I think I'm gonna save the rest of this stuff for later. We have a lip mask. Ooh, I've actually tried these before, the Marbled Metals Glitter Eyeshadow, and I did really enjoy the one that I have. Yeah, okay, I think we're done. I think that we have enough to try today. I don't want to try too, too many things. Well, we have a full-on basket here, so it's gonna be a lot. Let's go back to the studio and get started on our makeup. All right, you guys, so we've got my bucket. That was loud. We've got all my goods in here, so that was kind of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog-style situation. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some eyeshadow primer because I figured I would do my eyes first. This is my NARS primer. I'm just going to blend this out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the One Size Beauty Patrick Star Visionary Palette. Like I said before, I have used this once before. And in the comments of that video, seriously, so many of you guys were asking what was on my eyes. So I figured I would try this palette again and just use maybe some of the other shades in here because it really is a beautiful palette and I enjoyed it when I used it the other day. So we're going to use it again. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's called Taupe of My Game. Oh, I'm gonna take off a little mirror protector. And I'm just gonna start working this into the crease a little bit as my transition shade while I figure out what look I'm going to create. I really like this shade. I actually did use this when I created that makeup look the other day and I really liked how it looked in the crease. I'm gonna take what's left and just kind of buff this up toward the brow. All right, next, let's see. I'm gonna take the shade Brownie from the same palette, and I'm gonna start to deepen up the outer third of the eye with this. I kinda wanna create a little bit more of a glam, smoky eye today. So I'm just kinda pressing this onto the lid, and then once there's less on the brush, I'm kinda sweeping it into the crease a little bit. That shade is so, so nice. Okay, let me see what eye toppers I chose. I might go with the more taupey one. Yeah, let's do a look like that. I think it'd be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Walnut Strut right here. I'm gonna take that on a brush first, but it might be better applied with my finger. Usually I apply all shimmer shades with my finger, but oh wow, this is working great with the brush. So I'm just basically filling in any space that we don't have eyeshadow already on this inner third of the eyelid, kind of blending it into the existing shadows. I'm going back into the brush we just used with the shade Brownie, which was that matte dark brown. I'm just making sure that that definition isn't lost on this outer corner. Okay, before I go in with that sparkly shade, I did want to try out the One Size Beauty Point Made Eyeliner in the shade Busty Brown. <laughs> That's a really cute name. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the top lid with this. And I am lining it from inner corner to outer corner today. It's a really nice warm brown liner color. And I kind of dragged the edge out a little bit, not to like an actual wing, but it is winged out slightly, I guess. Okay, I'm not the best at eyeliner, but that's as good as it's gonna get. So I wanted to go ahead and use um, another shade of this. So I did try out another color. I don't know where it went. I really, really enjoyed that shade. So I'll have it listed down below, um, but I wanna try this one today. So this is called Let's Pump. Look how pretty, it's like a taupey brown with some silver reflex. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm just gonna start applying this on the inner portion of the lid, right over top of that walnut strut shade. Oh my gosh, oh, that is divine. Oh my gosh, I love this. That looks so good, are you kidding? And when I wore the other shade, I didn't have any issues with fallout, which was amazing. So I'm assuming, you know, this is probably the same formula, so that makes me excited. Are you kidding? Oh, I feel amazing in these. This is such a cool color. Wow, 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 I'm really, really excited about this actually. Oh, I think that is so beautiful. I'm gonna kind of look down for a second while it dries, just to prevent as much creasing as possible since I do have hooded lids. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. That's beautiful. I thought it would be a good idea to like try a high ponytail today, but things are like falling apart and looking frazzled pretty fast, so ignore my hair. This is not a hairstyling channel by any means. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. All right, we're gonna pop on some Top Lash Mascara. This is the M Cosmetics uh, Pick Me Up Mascara. I don't know if this is really meant to be much of a glamorous mascara, and usually I would want something pretty volumizing for a look like this, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, I really like the applicator. Wait a minute. Just kidding, that is actually looking really, really nice. Holy cannoli. I'm noticing that it's giving really nice volume. The brush allows you to really comb through your lashes. So there's a nice separating effect. Let me show you the brush. Look at that. It's a really, really cool shape. I like this. Okay, we're 
We're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Of course, the one thing with mascara that I just can't handle is when it smudges or flakes. So we're gonna have to um, see how this wears. I'm not gonna be able to do a full on like wear test in this video, otherwise it's gonna be like an hour long, but what I will do is I will pay attention to how my makeup wears through the rest of the night and I'll leave a note in the description box kind of updating you on how everything wore. Whoa, okay, my lashes are curled and they look volumized and lengthened. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this, you guys. Look at that, look at the lift that that gave my lashes. Wow, okay, I'm excited to see how this wears. Plus the packaging is to die for. Who doesn't want a lavender mascara? Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, I can't get over that glitter shadow. It looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove any fallout under the eyes and honestly, there's not any fallout. There's like a teensy bit, but even after applying that glitter shadow, there's not fallout to pick up under the eyes, which is amazing. All right, we're gonna move on to primer. And if you remember, I picked up this primer right here, or I picked out this primer, it was sent to me. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Face Brightener Illuminating Primer. So excited about this. This says it has bioactive defense complex and it has licorice root extract and hyaluronic acid. Sounds amazing to me. So here's the packaging. It just has a little cap that you screw on and off. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to my fingertips. Here's what it looks like. I have no idea if that's too much. It might be. This is in the shade Translucent Glow. Oh, it's actually much more thin than I anticipated. Oh, and it smells like their skincare products. If you're familiar with their skincare, it smells really, really fresh and nice. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out. Oh, wow. Definitely illuminating. Whoo, really pretty though. It's a very, very thin formula, which I really, really like, but it still feels hydrating, like it's sinking into the skin. And now it's drying down a little bit. Oh, that feels good on the skin. And it's kind of got a little bit of a grip to it when it dries down just a little bit, but it feels really, really nice on the skin. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Wow, look at what that did to my skin. Definitely, definitely gave it quite a bit of a glow. Since we don't have a foundation to try, I'm gonna use a foundation that's just sitting here. I haven't used this in a while, so we're just gonna throw this on. It's the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. I have mine in the shade one and two a crew. And I'm just gonna start blending that out on top of the primer. Oh wow, okay, so I'm noticing the primer really, really sunk into the skin, which is nice. Like I feel like, especially after you do your skincare, you might not want too many super hydrating ingredients in your primer. If you already, you know, used a moisturizer and a hydrating serum and things like that, you might not need that much. So I kind of like how it felt hydrating, but it wasn't overkill, which means it would probably be perfect to layer on top of skincare, which is what I do anyway. I'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand of that foundation and just press everything in with my sponge. Oh, by the way, I already filled my brows in off camera. I used the Oma Beauty Baby Hair Brow Pencil in the shade 05. Oh, darn folks, I forgot. I wanted to apply the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base under the eyes. It's not too late because I didn't apply concealer yet. So I'm gonna take a little of this underneath the eyes. It's so cute. It's literally like a mini vitamin enriched face base, but it's an eye version, obviously. I'm actually gonna take a little brush to blend that out. Ooh, this kind of has like a cooling feeling to it. Feels nice. I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of press that down into the skin. I like how that feels though. Seriously, it has a very nice cooling and depuffing effect. I like it. Okay. Oh gosh, folks. I totally forgot that I had this concealer and sponge duo situation. Oh, I guess it's not too late. We can still apply the concealer with this. So this is from e.l.f. I'm gonna grab the brush. I need to wet the sponge. And I also realized I forgot about this oil mist. You know what, I might save this for another video because I have the e.l.f. setting spray and I don't really want to confuse the um, Thrive Cosmetics primer right now because I really like how it looks. We are going to try out the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is not a new product, but it's new to me. And I'm gonna go just get the sponge wet so I can blend out the concealer with it. All right, so here is the sponge. Let's go ahead and pick a shade in this concealer. So this one's definitely too deep. I think I'm gonna try it Fair Beige. Here's what it looks like. I'm sure a lot of you guys already own this. I'm gonna go ahead and dot a bit of this under the eye like that. Maybe I'll put a little bit on the chin. I don't really wanna put more than that though. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna use this to blend things out. It's actually a really nice sponge. 
The concealer has a very, very strong smell to it, actually, like a chemical-y smell. But it seems to be blending out really nicely and it has nice coverage to it as well. I'm taking what's left and just kind of pressing it in the center of the forehead. Okay, I feel like the scent kind of fades once it starts to set into the skin. And I really like how that looks. My complexion still looks really healthy. It gave the right amount of coverage and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin at all. So that's really nice. All right, next we are going to try out the Oma Beauty Double Take. Um, these are the Sculpt and Strobe Sticks. So they sent me two shades. I have the shade Fair Lady and White Pearl. I might mix the two. So this one is the shade White Pearl. I think this might be great for contour for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start applying just the contour shade directly onto the skin. That's kind of fun. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then let's see what the other shade looks like. Okay, so that's gonna be a little bit warmer, but I might use that actually to kind of bronze the skin up. Hopefully that's not too deep. I'm gonna keep um, that other shade in the center just so it doesn't look too intense. Looks a little crazy right now, but let's go ahead and buff this into the skin. So I'm just gonna take a brush and start blending this out. Oh wow, that blended out really, really nicely actually. So I wanted a little warmth, but I wanted most of it to be kind of that sculpting tone for under the cheekbones. Wow, wait, I like this. All right, we're gonna blend out the color into the hairline. Yeah, this ponytail is a no-go for me today, but too late now. <laughs> it's just kind of getting in the way a little bit. Okay, wait a minute, I really like that. I'm just gonna blend out the sides of the nose a little bit. And just to make sure that things aren't too harsh, I'm gonna go back in with the concealer sponge and just gently press over everything on the nose so that there's not stripes on the side, but it's like contoured. That worked really well. I'm gonna kind of blend out the edges on the forehead and on the cheekbones as well. Ooh, that was nice. So they actually have another side to them, which is like the illuminating side. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try that yet, but I really, really loved the sculpting stick. That was nice. It blended out great. Okay, let's move on to a powder. I've got two powders we can choose from. Let's open them up. So first we have the Innisfree Matte Mineral Setting Powder. Oh, this is tiny. Cute packaging though. It's got a little puff that comes with it, like a tiny little puff. And then we have this right here, the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Here's the packaging on this one. Really cute. This one doesn't have a puff. They actually look kind of similar in the jars. They're just like really finely milled powder. So I'm gonna use the Ciate one. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure to get some into the cap. All right, so before setting the under eye area, I'm just gonna make sure that it's blended out. This sponge is actually nice. Oh, I realized you guys, I forgot to blend it out with the little concealer brush. Goodness gracious, I bet it works really well. Darn it, I keep forgetting things. All right, we're gonna use the Ciate setting powder underneath the eyes. It feels really nice and really soft. It's blending over everything so nicely. Wow, so far so good with all these new products. You know, it is kind of fun to just be able to use or try out the things that I'm genuinely excited about. Not that I'm not excited about everything I receive in PR, but honestly, sometimes when there's a collection sent to me, there's only a few things in that collection or in that box that like I'm thrilled about. And so it's kind of fun to only use the products I'm super excited about, especially when they start working out like this. All right, I'm just setting the T-zone and under the eyes with this. That was a very, very smooth powder. It feels really soft on the skin. I'm gonna go back in with the other side of my e.l.f. sponge and I'm just gonna kind of press over everything to make sure it doesn't look too powdery. All right, I have the um, pumpkin spice palette. Maybe we should do a lower lash line with this or something. I'm really into it. Like, look at this beautiful color scheme. I like it. It might be kind of fun and it smells like pumpkin. Or do we just finish up the look with just one palette, you know? No, I wanna try the pumpkin spice one. I freaking love the one size beauty one. I think it's awesome. I'm just really into some of these colors. I low-key wanna try this right here, so I'm going to. This is called A La Mode. It's a really fun kind of mustardy color. Tapping off the extra. Oh, I gotta take off the protective layer in this as well for the mirror. And we're gonna do like a little golden lash line situation. So I'm just buffing this across the entire lower lash line. I actually kind of want a little bit of that shade, just the tiniest bit kind of up here a little, just to tie in all the tones. So 
pretty. Let's take a little bit of this right here called Fall Vibes. I'm gonna take that on a small brush and I am gonna actually spray the brush just because it is such a metallic shade. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter just to wet the brush a little. And I'm going to use this along the lower lash line. Well, that's a really fun shade. I like it a lot. Going back into the brush we were just using on the lower lash line, I didn't add any more product, but I'm just kinda using that to blend the edges out. And then I kinda wanna take um, that one size eyeliner. I'm gonna do a little bit of definition on the waterline on the lower lash line. Okay, so now that that's in the waterline, I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna dip into this reddish brown shade called Spice of Life. I feel like that actually matches the eyeliner really nicely, so I'm just gonna kind of buff this on the outer corner of the eye just to add a little bit of definition. So pretty. Okay, I'm just using that little tiny concealer brush I forgot to use to brush away any fallout under the eyes. And then maybe I'll put a little bit of this one on. This is the One Size Beauty Eye Popper in the shade Pea House. I'm gonna put a little of that on this inner portion on the lower lash line. I'm seriously in love with these eye toppers. They're so pretty. We are looking glamorous. All right, I'm gonna take the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara. I'm really into this as well, at least so far. I'm just gonna apply that to the lower lashes. I got a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry though. All right, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips just because it was bothering me a bit. I'm gonna open up my Hourglass Blush Brush and New Blush. So they just launched two new blush shades in their ambient lighting blushes. And the one that they sent me was called Sublime Flush and it is beautiful. Look at this color, you guys. I'm so excited. And then we have the Hourglass, what's this called? Ambient Powder Brush, which is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and actually apply this with the brush. And I'm just gonna apply it to the cheeks like you would any blush. This is a little bit like pinky tone for the eye look, but I don't care. Wow, that is pretty. Oh my, ooh. It's like a peach with lavender marbling in it. So nice. Yeah, I don't feel like it really matches the eye look, but I don't care. I just wanted to try it. That's really, really nice. I already know I'm gonna like this because I really do love the um, hourglass blushes in general. Like the formula is always so, so good. I'm taking a little bit of the Ciate Coconut Powder and just kind of blending out the edges here. So nice. All right, for highlighter, we're gonna use the highlight in this right here, the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo. All right, I'm gonna dip into the highlighter and this is in the shade Cantaloupe. So I'm just gonna start building that up. Oh wow, it's building up really, really nicely. I'll do a little down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, and of course in a C shape around the brow. Whoa, that's actually really pretty. I like that a lot. All right, so um, I chose two of the Juvia's Place lip liners. These are the Luxe liners. I have the shade Sweet Nothing right here. I'm just gonna try this out really quick. I think I might be using this one. Then I have the shade So Rare, which looks a little bit more orangey. So I am gonna use this shade called Sweet Nothing. And I'm going to line and fill in the lips with this. This feels really, really smooth. It almost has a bit of like a blurring or moussey texture to it, which is nice. Okay, I really, really like that. Next, you guys, I'm so excited about these lipsticks. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely swatched them when they first came in the mail, but I wanna show you the shade. So again, these are from Uoma Beauty. I have three lipstick colors to show you. The first one is this gorgeous mauve tone called Maya. That could be really pretty, actually. We also have Eartha. I think this is the one that I probably will end up using, though, because it seems like it's a little bit of a lighter tone and a little more, like, beige. Look how pretty that is. And then... I'm so excited about this, but it won't go with this look, but I'm excited to wear it in the future because it's just so good. I put this on when I first got it and it's such a good color. Look at this, it's called Whitney and it's like the best bright pink color. I'm so excited about that one. I'm gonna leave it right here on my desk so I can remember to try it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply Eartha, which is that lighter beigey tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of the lips, mostly. Oh, this formula is so good. And then I'm gonna take my finger and kind of blend that out. All right, I'm gonna open these ultra glossy lips from the ColourPop Sunflower Collection and we'll see if any of them match. Oh, that might work. This is in the shade Sun Soaked. And then we have the shade Always Sunny right here, which looks like this. Okay, I'm definitely leaning towards this shade right here. So we're gonna try it Sun Soaked. Oh, I do not like these brush applicators, but I feel like they're not gonna change them back to the doe foots. I miss the doe foot applicators on the gloss so much. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger again to just make sure I press in all the product. 
Mm. On the bright side, I really love the formula and that color was nice. I think it layered on top of those other lip colors really, really well. All right, we have two setting sprays that I can choose from. I think I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. one since I forgot to wear the uh, oil spray or whatever from e.l.f. So this is the Makeup Setting Mist. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, up to 16 hour wear. Just gotta open it real quick. Ooh, it looks like a really nice mist on that, but first let's assess the situation before we set everything. I'm just gonna buff off mascara marks. All right, so there's a few things I didn't get around to trying today, like the Innisfree Mist. I didn't get to try the e.l.f. balm, but I wanna try that soon. I also didn't try the Innisfree powder, but I really like the coconut powder, so I'm not mad at that. I think everything looks about the way I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a very, very fine mist. Ooh, that smells good. It smells really fresh. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sink into the skin a little. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and press everything down. Whoa, that highlight is really, really pretty. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the brows really quick and then we'll do a quick run through of all the products we tried and what I'm the most excited about. And then don't forget to check the description box to see my first impressions on how everything wore. I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible tonight. All right, so this is the final look after shopping my PR stash, and I have to tell you, I am so excited about how everything looks, but I'm definitely more drawn to certain products than others that we tried. Hold on, I'm gonna add a little more powder to the T-zone just to make sure it's not too, too oily. All right, let's move through this. Okay, we're gonna start with the One Size Beauty eyeshadow palette. Honestly, I'm really excited about this. It's definitely more for a neutral type of person, but like, who isn't a neutral eyeshadow lover. I think it's great. I really have loved the formula so far. I have only used it twice, but honestly, I'm excited to continue to use it. And I almost feel like I could have created the same lower lash line effect with like these shades right here. So I probably didn't even need to dip into the pumpkin spice palette to complete this eye look since there is like a little bit of a mustard tone and there's also that kind of green shade. You could mix the two and probably create the same shade as what I have right here. So. I'm really excited about this. Plus the packaging is cool too. I love the angle on the front. Very, very excited genuinely about that. I am over the moon about the One Size Beauty Sparkle Vision eyeshadow toppers. You guys, I have now tried three shades. I'm so excited about these. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. I love the applicator, it's so easy to apply. I mean, you cannot even lie about how beautiful that shade is. This taupey one, again, this is called Let's Pump and it's so nice, I'm obsessed. This might be what I'm the most excited about. Definitely, definitely thrilled about that one. All right, let's move on to mascara, the M Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this much curl and lift and lengthening in a mascara from M Cosmetics. I know they have some things that are a little bit more glam, but I was honestly expecting something that would be very, very soft and subtle from M Cosmetics. This is beautiful, I'm really excited, and I will leave a note down below letting you know if I notice any smudging or flaking. As of now, the application was great. The applicator is really, really amazing, and I love the way my lashes look. They're separated, they're lifted. So I'll definitely keep you posted on how that wears. I am very excited about that. The One Size Beauty eyeliner, I think it's really nice and I think it looks really nice in the waterline. I'm not somebody who really wears eyeliners that often. So I'm not like crazy about this just because I personally just don't really use eyeliners too much, but I feel like it applied really nicely and I'll let you guys know how it lasts in the waterline, especially if you're curious. Um, let's talk about the Pumpkin Spice palette. I honestly wasn't able to use too many of these shades, but I am still very inspired by and very excited to try out this palette. So I will continue to use this, um, but honestly between the two, I am a little more excited about One Size Beauty right now. That could be because I'm more familiar with it and I have a better opinion on it right now. This, this felt awesome. I really loved this primer. Thrive Cosmetics is one of my very favorite brands and they create such high quality products. So I'm very excited. Oh, it said on the back to wait 30 seconds before applying makeup. I'm pretty sure I waited about 30 seconds because it did have time to kind of sink into the skin and left that tacky texture. It was very, very nice and I think it definitely contributed to the overall 
glowy effect that my skin has today, which I'm obsessed with. So I'm excited to continue to use this and it makes me wanna try the blurring one next. So I probably will. The Ulm Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Sticks. I love, I love, love, love the sculpting side of this. I obviously did not try the illuminizing side, but I'm excited to try them. I just swatched this one on the back of my hand so you can kind of see. Yeah, I'm excited to try the illuminating part, but honestly, I would recommend this just off of the sculpting stick because it blended out so nicely. This is the other illuminating side. Um, it's a little bit more yellow toned, but yeah, they blended out so, so nicely. I definitely feel like I will probably get the most use out of the shade um, White Pearl just because this was the perfect contour color for the sides of my nose, for my cheekbones. And I think I'm gonna use this more because typically I like to layer a powder bronzer on top of my creams. So I could see myself reaching for this a ton. I did like how the darker shade layered in to add a little more warmth, but if I had to pick one for my skin tone, it would definitely be this. By the way, they have so many other shades in this, so no matter your skin tone, you can find the right product. I loved that. The Bobbi Brown Eye Base felt really nice under the eyes. I'm excited to continue to use this and see if I notice any difference, especially with how my concealer applies and wears throughout the day. So I will keep you posted on that. I like how it's kind of designed to go underneath makeup. I think that's great. So I am excited to continue to use it. The e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I think it looks nice on the skin. I will let you guys know how it wears on me. Besides the smell in the beginning, I did like the texture and I like the coverage in this as well. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. I can't tell you if I'm obsessed with it yet or not. The coconut setting powder is actually so nice and so soft and almost undetectable on the skin visibly. But when I touch my face, you can tell that it's set, but it's so soft. I really like that. I'm excited to keep using this. The blush, I have a feeling it's gonna be one of my new favorites, honestly, because I love the Hourglass blushes anyway. I know the blush was a little bit too pink for this eye look for my taste personally, but I'm glad I tried it and this brush is nice too. Very thrilled about the blush. Guys, I had a really good makeup day. I guess that's again the fun part of trying the stuff that you genuinely are excited about because I already knew like a lot of these products fit my aesthetic personally. So it's nice that so many of them really did live up to my expectations. All right, this highlighter from e.l.f. I really like it. My skin looks so nice and glowy. I'm excited to try this cantaloupe blush. And it's from e.l.f. and it's so affordable. So you can't really go wrong with that. All right, lip products, really enjoyed the lip liner. Really, really enjoyed the lipstick. I don't know where the shade went, but really enjoyed the Oma Beauty lipstick formula. I'm so excited to wear this. I have to wear this sometime soon. This Whitney shade, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. And yeah, the Juvia's Place lip liner was great. Have no complaints about that. The ColourPop lip gloss, again in the shade Sun Soaked, feels amazing on the lips, and I really like the combo that it gave. It's just a good, like, neutral, golden kind of a gloss color, so I do feel like I will reach for this quite a bit. I'm bummed I didn't really try the brush, but I'm sure it's nice for blending out concealer. And then this little sponge is fun. I did actually like this. I felt like it really did blend out my concealer nicely. I like the shape of it too. That kind of football shape is nice. So I do feel like I will continue to use the sponge as well. Also the e.l.f. setting spray, I think the mist was really fine. I'm gonna have to keep you posted on how uh, my makeup wears throughout the day. But overall, honestly, you guys, I had a really, really good makeup day. I definitely think that the things that I'm most excited about are the Oma Beauty lipsticks, the Oma Beauty sculpt sticks, and then also the Patrick Star, or I mean, One Size Beauty. <laughs> it's made by Patrick Star, but these glitter toppers are just to die for. And then next, I'm really excited to see how this mascara wears and then I love the blush gosh I had a really good makeup day today so yeah I mean I'm feeling pretty glam and I feel like my sweater doesn't really match the uh, fall vibes of the makeup look that turned out today but that's okay at least it matches my blush right Okay, well, I thought that that was really fun. I would love to know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this style of video where I take you to shop my PR stash. I get so much mail sometimes and a lot of times it builds up. So I think a video like this would be a really fun way to kind of go through some of the things that I might not be able to do a dedicated video on you know, some of these collections or some of these products that come in the mail, but that doesn't mean I don't wanna try them. And this might be a perfect way to kind of go through some of those products that just sit there waiting for me to try them. So let me know if you would like for me to make this a series. I'm considering it, um, but obviously I only wanna do that if you are interested and if you enjoyed this. So let me know in the comments below. 
If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. Again, I will wear this as long as possible and leave as many notes as possible in the description for you to give you a better idea on my thoughts at the end of the night about all these products. But yeah, I really had a great time trying all of these out. I genuinely was excited about every single thing that I tried and I love, uh, I love how my makeup looks. Gosh, is it the primer that's doing that to my skin? Do you see how like glowy it is? It's gotta be a combo of the things. Maybe it's the blush and the highlighter too. I don't know, I'm loving my complexion. Really love that eye look. I'm rambling now. All right, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.